Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days and today is Freeze Dried Friday. This is when I like to share with you how I use Thrive Life Foods in our everyday cooking. This is a product that we use every single day in one way or another and I just love it and I know you will too. But I know sometimes it's it's kind of challenging to figure out what you would use it for, you know? So this is what Freeze Dried Friday is all about, to show you how we use it. Today I am really excited because we are going to be making a keto chicken nacho. Really looking forward to this. It would just kind of rang a bell with me earlier this week. I think it was Heather mentioned something about nachos and I went, oh that sounds so good. That's the oven heating up. <laughs> so freeze dried Friday. We are having chicken nachos. What we're going to use is we are going to use Thrive Life Foods chopped chicken. It's cooked white chicken meat and it is so good and I'm going to show you how it how we refresh it and then how we season it and how we add it to the nachos. Okay. We're also going to use my favorite staple the chopped onions and then we're also going to include Thrive Life chopped tomatoes. These are awesome and we're going to serve little mini chicken nachos with a nice sized salad for dinner. Come on let me show you how we do it. Okay so to start off with we have the chicken and that is what the chicken looks like when it's in the can, okay? Um, I am going to use a half a cup, which is what they consider one of their serving sizes. That's what the nutritional value is based on, is a half a cup. And a half a cup is 19 grams of protein and 3.5 grams of fat. That's very interesting. That's good to know. So this is really great for one, two people, an easy, quick lunch, that kind of thing. And this chicken is amazing. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got some really hot tap water here. Let me see if I can do this without making an absolute mess. Okay, and I am going to put in a cup of hot, hot tap water. There we go. And now I'm going to just lightly cover it, just because I want to keep the heat in, you know. I'm going to let that sit there for a few minutes. So that you know, so that you can see this, because it's just amazing. Okay, I'm going to bring this because we're going to use the top. This is a piece of the chicken. And in its freeze-dried state, it is like this. That's, that's what you can do to it. Isn't that just amazing? But, once it's in that hot water, you will be amazed. We are doing nachos for two, okay? So what that involves is a little bit of avocado. I'm not going to use guacamole because you just never know what's in the guacamole. I had half of an avocado left over yesterday. I'm not much for wasting, so even though it started to brown a little bit, you know, I'm still going to use it. I'm going to get another little bowl, and I am going to scoop out those insides. Whoop. Scoop out those insides into the bowl. Now, the goal with this here is I actually want to mash it up so much that I can put it into a Ziploc bag and use it use the Ziploc bag like a pastry bag and squeeze it out. For my little homemade guacamole I am going to put just a little dash of lemon. I'm going to put in just a smidgen of garlic because garlic is good in everything. And when I say smidgen I mean you know smidgen. Okay? Garlic is good in everything. Put that there salt because if you're having avocado you really 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 need salt okay these measurements are not precise as you can tell so do what works for you start light though if you're not familiar with it don't put in too much because it's easier to add more than it is to take it out so we're gonna take this and we're gonna work on mashing for those of you that don't know i had wrist surgery a couple weeks ago and I am still not where I'm supposed to be. Ugh. So I'm having to adapt. And I just thought of this. So I just dropped all of that mixture into a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to use that Ziploc bag to mash up the avocado. Which is theoretically a lot easier. Oh yeah, a lot easier on the wrist. Okay. It's a slippery little sucker in there though. So keep an eye on it. Okay, we're going to get that mashed up. Now, we are going to grate up a little bit of cheddar cheese. 
to make our cheese sauce. Now remember, you can always pick up the shredded cheddar, the shredded Mexican blend, whatever you want. But I prefer just to do this. And it doesn't take very long at all. Okay, and it doesn't have any flour in it that way. Or whatever else. But if, seriously, seriously, no judgment if you use the shredded. Time is time, I get that. Okay. So I probably use close to four ounces of cheese here. I measure by ounce because that, oh no, that's not, yeah, that's, let me look at that brick. Now I'm going to have to look at that. You don't want to slice your fingers because that's no fun. Okay, but you do want to get them as small as you can. And if you can't get them really small, eat them. We're going to pour in what we hope is a cup of heavy whipping cream into the cheese. We're going to put that on a nice uh, medium-low heat, okay? And we are going to babysit this bad boy because we don't want it to burn. And we do want it to mix together and make a really nice cheese sauce. It's going to be nice and thick. Remember, you don't want it to be like you would for soup, so... That's why there's very little liquid in there, but there's enough so that the cheddar will melt down and become a really nice sauce. This could be possibly the longest part of the entire process is making this cheese sauce. Now, if you want to, you can also add a little flavoring, seasoning, whatever you want to this. I'm going to add just a pinch, just a pinch of garlic powder, just a pinch of cumin, and then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Mix that. And let this melt down. Let me back you up and show you what we got here. Okay, let me pull a piece out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful, tender, white meat. It's already refreshed completely. Okay, so now we have a nice, thick, creamy cheese sauce to put over everything. It's going to be really good. That really was the longest part of the whole process. Okay, so now I'm going to take this chicken. I'm going to drain it. Set that right here. And we are going to take our guacamole and cut a little tip off the side of the bag. Okay, right there. So I pushed everything out of the way. Now we're going to squeeze all that down and we're just going to do a very light drizzle. Boop, 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 boop. Make sure to hit every little piece there, okay, of guacamole. Or homemade, keto-friendly guacamole. Okay, now we're going to take the chicken because it's already cut up into little small pieces, you can just put it wherever you want, and sometimes it'll pick its own spot. Now to add a little bit of extra flavor to this, we're gonna use our Thrive Life chopped onions. We're just gonna put those straight on there right from the can, okay? And we're gonna take a few of the chopped tomato pieces and we're going to put those on there. And then we're going to grab a spoon. And we are going to drizzle this cheese sauce right over the top. Look at that. Okay. And that is a Thrive Life Freeze-Dried Friday Keto Chicken Nacho. That looks so good. It has all the flavor. None of the bad stuff. Oh my gosh, that was good. Phil liked it. I liked it. The grandkids liked it. The only thing I completely forgot about was sour cream. It was sitting in the fridge. We had it. We forgot to put it on. But it was really good without it. The youngest kid said he wanted it for his birthday dinner next year. I'm sure he'll change his mind by then because it's in May, <laughs> okay? But 
It was a hit. It was a family hit. Super easy, super quick. Thrive Life Foods every single day. You can use it every single day in some way. If you have any questions about Thrive Life Foods or any other of the Thrive Life products uh, that are available, please be sure to hit me up. Uh, send me a message. Put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and I would love to help you find what's right for you and your family. If you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, be safe. Bye-bye.